this video i'm going to teach you how you can design a responsive search bar okay i'm going to uh, design this using html css and javascript at the end of this design we should have something that looks like this okay now this is a responsive search bar and to see the effect of the responsiveness or how responsive this search bar is i'm going to uh, do this okay by the time we reduce um uh, this browser you can see reducing it the width to a particular size for this design we use 600 pixel automatically it aligns the links vertically instead of horizontally just like this okay you reduce automatically it aligns itself vertically instead of horizontally so we're going to design this together and i'll take it one step at a time okay um, to commence i'm going to take this out i'm going to delete this and call up our editor bracket Okay, I'm going to save this file, we'll call it index. dot htm. And save on the desktop. I'm going to open this up. We we'll have a plain environment. As we design, we we'll see what it looks like here. Okay, now to commence this. I'm going to say document type doc type of course is html and the html proper I'm going to have the head next i'm going to define a meta type a meta name equal to viewport content will be equal to the width equal to device width okay and the initial scale here equal to one okay so this will allow our design to fit in or take the shape of any device mobile device laptop uh, ipad and uh, whatsoever type of device okay so next i'm going to um define our style for this design so i'll say style okay commencing the style i'm going to do this call it okay call it brace i'll say box sizing going to be border box okay and now for the body margin zero font family area okay so we define the box sizing type border box the body we said margin zero font family uh, should be area and next we are going to define uh, the navigation bar 
we're going to style it and to do that I'm, i'll simply say um we're going to create a class for it top nav that's the name okay uh for the elements overflow be hidden the background color okay, for the background color i'm going to use this color um, can edit you right click quick edit you can select any color of your choice and close it when done okay well i'm, I'm fine with this color and next uh, we are going to uh, style the links okay and to do that i also create a class for it say dot top nav Okay, nice for the link. We have the A here. To commence, I'll say float, floating it left. Display. Should be block. And color. Should be black. Okay, take this here. Color black. Uh, text align. For the alignment, I need it to be at the center. Okay, next is padding. Uh, padding 14 pixel by 16 pixel. text decoration text decoration i don't need any so i'll say none okay then finally i'm going to style the font size and for the font size should be 17 pixel okay so we are done uh, styling the the links for our bar so next i'm going to style the hover element for these links and to do that i will say dot top nav the link over element okay i'm going to give it a background color Okay, now oh, this is the color I'll be using, the background, and um, I'm also going to give it a font color, so I'll say color, black. Okay, so color should be black. Now we are going to uh, next style the active element for um this bar the active element we're going to give it a defined color and to do that i'm going to simply say dot top nav a dot that is a link active link okay for the active link i will simply say the background color i need it to be green and when active i want the font color to be white okay so having done that we are now going to style um the search the search field okay just the way we want it we're going to style this search field okay 
now if i go ahead and refresh this you see nothing is happening here because we are not done we've not brought in our html proper so we'll continue with this coding so to do that um simply i'm going to also create a class for it and i'll say dot top nav input and the input type of course is going to be text type equal text okay i'm going to define this okay defining this now i'm going to to float it to the right it's going to be by the right so i'll say float right we have it here okay so padding i'm going to pad it this way padding um should be six pixel margin top eight pixel margin to the right is 16 pixel and border none i don't need any border styling for this okay and the font size when we type in the field should be 16 pixel okay now when carrying out your own design you can um, play around this try to make changes and see what you got okay so now we're going to uh, proceed with um, styling uh, the responsive effect for the, the search bar and to do that we're going to say at media screen and so we're going to define a maximum width um, a condition that would allow the responsive net to take effect so maximum width so i'm going to say at 600 pixel okay so we're going to define what we want the styles we want it to take effect so and this should take effect on um the links and also uh the search field okay and to do that i'm going to call up the various classes in here and i'll say dot top nav okay and the next is dot top nav input which is for the text the, the search field cause the type to test okay and then quickly i'm going to define various elements for it i'll say float uh, should be none display should be block and it should be aligned left okay so i'm going to say text align left width i need it at 100 percent there should be no margin so margin here should be zero and for the padding the padding i need it at 14 pixel okay 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 so next i'm going to also um define this 
for our search menu I'll see the top now the input type call to text okay so I want to define a border for this I'll say border one pixel will be solid and you'd have this color okay so with this we are done with our styling so I'm gonna bring this up a bit okay we're good at this point I'm also going to bring um this up here okay so next we are going to bring in the content of this page so that we'll start seeing um features appearing here the way we want them okay and to commence that we're going to say body okay so body i'm going to bring in the div tag i'll say div call a particular class the class we'll be calling here first is the navigation bar the class will define for it above which is top nav okay now defining this class in this class first uh, we are going to bring in the links directly so i'm going to do this the link which is class our active class or the active link um is active and the link okay um is going to be we'll call it home that was our first link going to be home home link okay um check this okay I'll also repeat it here home okay and we have it closed so i'm going to um continue here for the second link so i'll say uh, link equal to uh, the next we are going to call them the services link yeah services i'm, I'm supposed to have um yes so here we're going to say services okay and I'll say services for the third link I'm going to copy this come down here paste it and I'm going to change this carrier I'm going to change this carrier okay okay so I'm going to save this let me refresh and see what we have okay so we have successfully defined the links as you can see services and career and this is our, our bar the horizontal bar this is the active link which we have defined here home and also call the class active that gives it the color green okay so to continue this we are going to now style the uh, the search um, field itself we are going to call it up and to do that so I'll simply um, say this it's an input so I'm, I'm going to say input type is equal to cross is text and uh, placeholder is equal to search okay so I'm going to do this 
we'll close this here and div is closed we don't need this here so i'm going to take this out okay i'm going to bring this up a bit so i'm going to save this save all or refresh and you can see guys we have it here okay you can see we have it here so i'm going to create um just a content um make a statement here that would appear here this point to do that i will simply bring in another div tag i'll say div style i'm going to style this an inline style is equal to say padding left 16 pixel okay and i'm going to bring in a header here and i'll simply say creating a responsive search bar okay so i'm going to save this again save all and i'll refresh this and we have it here okay guys so if i go ahead and resize this i'm going to resize this now and you see what we have we have the links coming vertically rather than horizontally so just like we define if it is less than 600 pixel please do this okay so i'm going to extend it and we have it aligned horizontally instead of vertical okay so guys this is how you can go about uh designing or creating a search a responsive search bar using html css and um just html and css uh not including javascript okay with html css we can achieve this okay so guys thank you and i'll see you in my next video bye